Hey everybody, what's going on? You're watching the sit down. I'm DJ Sixsmith. Dr. Marty Goldstein's here with us, the dog doc, a veterinarian over 40 years. Brand new documentary coming out. Doc, how are you? I'm great. I am absolutely great. <laughs> well, it's good to be talking to you. And obviously you've been doing this documentary for several years right now, but coronavirus is a big story. So how has that impacted you? And how are you feeling about dogs overall right now with all this going on? Well, I graduated Cornell Vet School in 1973. Approximately one out of 10 dogs got cancer. It was always a disease of the old. So if we saw a young dog with a lump, we eliminated the possibility of cancer just based on the age. Uh, recent statistics show that one out of every 1.61 dogs in the United States now get cancer, and it's commonly a disease of the young. So I'm not feeling that great about, about the health state of our companion animals. And this is not something that's just happening. There is substantial reasons for it. Uh, I don't think, after being at Cornell for eight years, studying intensely, that this is just bad luck. Uh, I don't think that true healthcare is being taught in the profession of medicine. Hmm. Have you been getting extra calls this week, last couple of weeks, with people concerned about their dogs? Well, what's, what's very interesting, do you remember the, uh, the pet food recall disaster that happened in 2007? Yeah. You know, with, we, once again, it was, we're importing stuff from China that was knocking the kidneys of dogs and cats out in, in the pet food. And what was very interesting is veterinary clinics' phones were ringing off the wall and I had a national practice at that time. Mm -hmm. We were seeing people all every day from all over the United States. Do you know how many calls we got? How many? Three. Wow. And actually one was not even a client. It was a, a lady that lived in the condos behind our practice that just stopped mm -hmm. in. And that's because we properly educated our clientele for years and years. So with this disaster too, because we've educated so much, and I've educated on integrative health care for animals for 47 years now, our clientele is not going crazy. Now, what's very interesting, I have right here, when you see the documentary, you'll see one of our main sub-themes of therapy is intravenous vitamin C at high doses. I've been using that since the 1970s very effective against cancer, but so many other disease maladies respond to it. The Shanghai Medical Association has released an expert consensus statement on the comprehensive treatment of COVID-19, where they endorse the use of high doses of intravenous vitamin C for the illness. Mm. Why are we hearing this about this in the United States? And then there's an entire report from the NIH, the National Institute of Health, National Library of Medicine that is showing the release of this virus in 2019 from Wuhan, China, and how vitamin C given not only can treat the disease, but prevent it from happening. Why are we hearing about that? Why are we hearing about these old uh, anti-malarial drugs that could work and we're not hearing about something in the documentary so well that exposes these other therapies for animals that I learned from people medicine decades ago. Well, I think it's really good that we're talking to you right now. And like you said, you've been on the alternative track for, for decades. So what really inspired that? And what's it been like building this out and kind of doing your own thing in a sense and building the practice? <laughs> I was losing my health genetically way back in the 60s and 70s. And it ran in uh, my mother's side of the family that I took after and all the males on that side of the family are now dead. Mm -hmm. And I was chronically degenerating in the 70s. I was in my 20s and I was just searching for answers that my doctor couldn't give me. You know, injections of long acting cortisone that goes into my shoulder for my chronic arthritis and bursitis. And I stumbled upon healthcare for people. And when my diseases remedied, my chronic illnesses got better, it just made sense 
to try this on our own family pets and some of my clientele's pets. And lo and behold, it worked. <laughs> That's awesome. So in the documentary, we get this really intimate look at your practice, um, the dogs that come in, the humans that are dealing with the dogs. What was the most fascinating part for you in terms of letting cameras into your whole deal and kind of showing the world what your whole day is like? My mission stems from a vision I had way back in the 1970s where when I reversed my own illnesses and then applied it to our family pets, it also worked, is that we need some kind of integrative overhaul of the profession of veterinary medicine. So the, the criticism and opposition and ridicule I received when I became certified in acupuncture in the mid 70s, and now it's 57% of the univer vet schools embrace acupuncture, uh, 